Hey everyone, welcome to the studio. This week, we got problems. Since I bought it, my Bamboo Labs A1 has been a reliable beast. It's so good, it's easy to forget it's a 3D printer, and things can go wrong. So imagine my surprise this morning when I went to retrieve a finished print and found this. The Blob of Death. Now, don't get me wrong, I've seen this before, but I keep my print bed clean, my filament dry. What's going on? So I started doing some research and discovered what might be the fatal flaw in the process that allows this to happen and how I plan on returning to a time when this sort of thing didn't happen to me. To start, let's look at what should happen. The A1 uses sensorless homing and physically touches the nozzle to the bed. This allows the printer to get an accurate Z regardless of factors like using a new nozzle or thermal expansion of the print bed. Then, when the machine begins printing, it can leave the right amount of space for the melted plastic to contact and adhere. However, despite all of the nozzle wipes and filament purges, what can happen is that during homing, a bit of filament can ooze out and harden especially with oozy filaments like PETG. This extra material on the tip of the nozzle then becomes the new point of contact on the bed, effectively tricking the printer into saving the wrong position at home. Now, when the printer begins to print, it's too high for the newly extruded filament to adhere to the bed. So, instead of laying down a line and moving on, the nozzle brings the extruded filament along, allowing it to build mass as it goes. This accumulation of filament adds up and can begin blocking and diverting the flow of molten plastic from the nozzle. So what can we do about it? Well, unfortunately, once it's happened, there's little you can do except clean it up. Depending on the severity, there may be broken parts or things that are unsalvageable and you'll need to replace. I started cleaning it by confirming that the hot end still works and heating it up. This can soften the plastic enough to allow the bulk of the blob to peel off. In this case, not so lucky. The blob is firmly latched onto my part cooling duct, so time to take that off. I used nippers and tweezers to pull bits off. The main mass, however, is just too chunky and hardened. This was carbon fiber PETG, and it's giving my tools a run for their money. After unsuccessfully attempting to cut it into smaller parts, I brought out the big guns, a soldering iron with a sacrificial tip, which I used like a hot knife to remelt and break up the blob. Once I got it apart, it came right off. Just look at all that coming off the plastic. They're nasty fumes. I did this with the windows open and a fan on high. Luckily, it didn't appear that anything was actually broken. I installed a brand new spare nozzle anyways. This installed nice and easy and, with a quick test print, confirmed we were back in business. Okay, let's have a look. Some of the stringing and defects could be a result of the time-lapse setting, which I had turned on for this print. Not the best, but at least it's working. So, that wasn't fun. Now, how do you make sure this doesn't happen to you? Simple. Watch your first layer. Despite all of the clever engineering that can really make you feel at ease hitting print and walking away, this can happen. And it does. 999 times out of a thousand, the Z homing sequence goes perfect. But all it takes is that one. And if you don't at least check the first layer is going down nice, you don't know. And while this isn't the only way the blob can occur, this specific problem sure does seem to plague Bamboo Labs machines. So what do you think? Does this issue change your opinion of the Bamboo Labs A1 or Bamboo machines in general? Or do all of the other pros outweigh this con? Let me know in the comments. As always, thanks for watching. I've got a big exciting project planned for next week, so can't wait to see you then.